and welcome to my very first tutorial of online making using QuickTime. This has been fun. I'm going to show you how to log into Seesaw. So a lot of the classes were sent an email with this code. So I'm going to show you that version because it's a little bit trickier than the type where you get an email and you just click the link and you find your kid. So generally speaking, you need to have your kids sign up first. It's easier that way. So this is the email I sent to a lot of my, my kids in my class or their parents. You go to app.seesaw to me, you click I'm a student, you have to set up student accounts first, you can choose an email or a Google account, choose new student, etc. I'm going to show you what that looks like, but first I'm going to copy this code, which expires, but we can send you a new one, so if you don't get it, we'll just send you a new one. So here's the um, web portal, I'm not on the app, I'm just on my regular old browser, this is Chrome, Chrome has worked really well for me as a web browser, so I'm going to go I'm a student. Now if, uh, well, I'll get that. I'm going to hit email Google account and I'm a new student. So I'm going to use my student Google account. We love Google in our house. And I'm going to paste in that code. And I'm just going to hit submit. And then it's going to ask me to select from all the many Google accounts I have on my computer. Um, her password's already in there. Ta-da! Now, my daughter Emmeline already has a class, has already been set up on Seesaw, and um, a lot. And so it, it, there may be some more steps that kick you through, but you can see over here, she's normally in a core class with Liberty Hamilton. We run a homeschool class um, with Seesaw. This is where we, how we keep track of all our homeschool stuff. And then I just added her to my Monday, Wednesday level planner class. And she, so she's a new add there. Now let's talk a little bit about what this looks like for a student. So um, as a teacher, I can post using this green button, and your kids can do that too, but I can post the activities we've been doing in um, class. When they hop on, they can click this little arrow. We can post multiple pictures at once. They can listen to a message. In class, we've been trying to expand our mathematical thinking. Don't I sound good? I've been sick. Can you tell? Um, they can listen to instructions or they can read the quotes. They can look at all the pictures, right? And they can comment. So down here, I just got some great comments on our Northern Arts Light, Northern Lights Art Project. Um, Jane made an audio comment and Guy did too. Um, I can post questions. So that gives you an idea of the kind of interaction that they can have, not just at school, but at home, about um, the things they're learning and things they find exciting. Now, I'm logged in as Emmeline right now, so if she wanted to, she could click this button and she could post a photo or a video or a link that she's found or even just type a note or add a file. On an iPad or an iPhone, they can do drawings, which is fun because they can just use their finger to make a cute little drawing and post those things too. So this is really an opportunity for kids to feel a lot of ownership about their learning. And for you as a parent, because once you are signed in, you can also comment on this journal. And I'll tell you what, when a parent comments on something, it feels cool when it's typed up and on the computer, right? It, it carries more weight. So that's just a little introduction about what Seesaw Journal looks like for a student and how to log in. I went through it kind of fast if you have any other questions. Again, there's another way to do it where you scan a QR code. I haven't really been using those. Um, or you can just click from a list and add it that way. The reason we did this with the older kids is because we did want them to have access at home from their own computer and their own account to add things, okay?